Hi everyone, this is Kara. Welcome back to the official channel VidProg Vlogger. New series of VidProg Guide tutorial is now available in this channel, where you can find a complete set of videos showing you how to create stunning videos from scratch in VidProg Vlogger. But before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. Overlooked by many, the importance of the sound for the overall quality in a video comes significant. In today's tutorial, we will give you a little tour on how to adjust the video volume with VidPro Vlogger. Launch the software. Then, as usual, create a project. Drag the video from your device to media library and place the material you are going to work on to a video track. You drag the video clip to the video track here. Make sure the song track that comes along is available. Go to the top right corner. Find Volume section. Here you can see a little slider. Slide left to zero, where the volume is muted. Or swipe to the right to, um, let's do five. Well, now the volume is five times louder than the original. Once you slide it to a desired value, the audio on the track changes accordingly. Let's hear the before and the after. Place the audio to your audio track. On your left hand is a timeline control. You can see here the default volume is 100% to keep it original. Click the volume box. Move the slider bar to change your volume. You can increase it to 100% which would leave it in line with the original piece. Or move it to zero to put it on silent. But if you want to boost original sound, try the following two methods. Select the audio, like what we did before. Go to the volume section here. Move the slider. Adjust the volume to a wanted point. Besides, I want to show you something more advanced. Find the audio editor in this section, or click on the audio icon in the toolbar. Open it, and you could see an audio waveform. To the left, there are two volume sliders along with two square icons. The FL is the front left channel, while the FR represents the front right channel. You can manually input the volume percentage in the FL or FR to change the volume. Or drag the slider separately to make adjustment. Unlike what has been shown before, you can fine tune the volume of the whole soundtrack through changing the dB. Click the little plus or minus button at the top. Each time you click it, it will increase or decrease your volume by 1 dB. If you want to change the volume of a certain section, simply move the mouse to this yellow line. And when you see a little arrow showing up, hold and drag to select a range. Well, the unselected part will turn blue, while the selected section stay green. Now, click these two buttons again. The change will be applied only to the selected section. If you want the volume to increase or decrease progressively as the audio plays, use the fade in and fade out facts. To insert it to your video, select it. Still, navigate to the top right and find volume. Here you can see two options of fade in and fade out. Move the fade in slider, and you will notice the time on the right is also changing, which means the sound before the point is gradually fade in until you reach a point where it hits a maximum. Well, as you drag the fade out slider, the volume will start to decrease from the point on till to mute. And if you want to apply fading and fade out effects to audio, there are two ways you can work with. The first is very much the same as the previous one. Select the audio. Use the fade in and fade out slider on the top right. Or turn to the audio editor, which you can find either in the volume section or on the toolbar. Click to enter the audio editor. Find the fade in and fade out icons at the top. Since by default, the entire audio is selected, 
as you choose the fade in or fade out effect respectively. The program will automatically apply the effect to your opening or the closing section, and you will see significant change in the waveform. If you want to continue to enhance, click on the fade in or out effects again. The result will be overlaid. You could also choose to fade in and fade out only certain part of the audio. Drag the mouse and select the sound range. Click fade in or fade out again. That's it. But don't forget to hit apply. Now, as you return to the interface, you will see the change made in the audio track. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about how to adjust your video volume and how to fade in and fade out. I think I've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you soon in our Sky tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.